with me I was wondering if after all these years you lied to me Send me your location, let's focus on communicating Cause I just need the time and place to come through Custery Walk in Kuala Lumpur Custery Walk is covered, open air flea market set along Jalan Custery, a lane running alongside Central Market. Here, you will find local snakes and vendors selling fake level handbags, watches, t-shirts, flip-flops and more as well as fruit stalls. It is similar to Pitaling Street, but not as crowded. Right over the front entrance of the Thai walkway in Peter Wawulan, a type of Malay Kai, which look like a butterfly, a long custody walk does not have the same extensive range of traders as Petaling streets. The goods are reasonably priced, thus its convenient locations make a trip here worthwhile. It was established in early 2011, so it's all very new with clean kiosks and store. You know I want you It's not a secret I try to hide I know you want me So don't keep saying our hands are tight You claim it's not in a cart But fate is pulling you miles away And out of reach from me But you Central Market, Kuala Lumpur, the center for Malaysian culture, heritage, arts, and craft. Central Market began life as a wet market in 1888, built by Yap Ahlai, the city's Chinese captain. It served as a prominent landmark in colonial and modern-day Kuala Lumpur when the market continued to expand. A permanent structure was built to house all the vendors by the 1930s, the structure was further improvised to the current facade. Malaysia is well known for the multiracial culture when people of different races live in peace and harmony. To reflect our colorful culture, Central Market Kuala Lumpur features zones with shops, stalls, and kiosks that highlight the main three races found in Malaysia. These zones are Lorong Melayu, Lorong China and Lorong India and serve the purpose of giving visitors an insight into the culture variety in Malaysia. Another zone known as Lorong Kelapa is charming lane when an amazing variety of traditional Malay snacks can be found. From all kinds of koropo crackers and kuih cakes to sweet and fried cuties like kuih bijan, kuih loyang, Epok Epok, and many more. Jalan Masjid India Market Kuala Lumpur The Jalan Masjid India Market Kuala Lumpur predominantly serves the local Indian Muslim community and you can find rows of stalls selling a wide array of souvenirs, bag, accessories, toys, and authentic Indian clothing, foods, and costume jewelry are also there. This vibrant street market is covered by a massive glass awning tinted in shades of blue providing shade against sunny and rainy days in the city center. A 
Masasini and Masjid India have a lot of interesting things to do that, that can attract uh, the tourists to visit uh, Malaysia. Okay, for example, Masjid India offer you the praying place for Muslim. Besides, we also can have a taste of Malaysian foods from the food street also in Masjid India. Never went there before, uh, except for Masjid India. Next is the Telling Street in Chinatown. Back in the olden days when Malaysia was still known as the Tanah Melayu or Malaya, the Chinese had come to this country to work at the tin mines. However, during the Selangor City War, the tin mines were temporarily abandoned. The Chinese returned after the war only to find the mines flooded. Yap Ahloi, an influential Chinese figure back then, had opened a tapioca mill on the Paitaling Street in his bid to persuade the Chinese to stay on. opinion i think all of these places are good place for tourists because they represented of the malaysian culture tourists who would like to taste a new malay cuisine or snack they can go to uh, kasturi walk which is kasturi walk focusing on malay kui mui uh, chinese dim sum and no way, I've never been so wide away No, nobody but me can keep me safe And I'm on my way The blood moon is on the rise The fire burning in us No, nobody but me can keep me safe And I'm on my way Me safe, and I'm on my way. The 